Well, hello there, all of my gorgeous, wonderful, fluffy fuzzballs. Thanks for joining me today. I have a very interesting map that I want to show you, and you're thinking to yourself, well, Llama, what is so interesting about this map? Well, let me tell you, this is the Bigfoot Mapping Project. This is in association with the BFRO website, where you uh, you have a sighting, ah, there's something hairy over there. Better, better uh, write this down. You know, that kind of thing. And um, they just map it for you on a map. So you can tell um, pretty easily if there's anything going on that's strange near you. What I find interesting about this is everything or most of the stuff on the West Coast seems to be like directly in line with the mountain ranges, which is really freaky. And uh, on this side, you know, kind of, most of it is uh, along the Appalachian Trail, which I think is interesting. Well, not the trail itself, but Appalachia, which I think is really interesting. you got huge clusters of stuff going on all the way right there. And then uh, and then Florida, you know, nice and flat. Are there any any sightings down here? I don't, I don't know. There, there are a couple sightings here and there overseas, but mainly it's located to the U.S., um, I guess it's too cold for Sasquatches up up in the North Country, but um, but yeah, let's say you live near, I don't know, St. Louis. So we're gonna go over to St. Louis. Looks like we have a couple over here. We got some up there, some over there, kind of uh, you know outside of the city. Let's click on one of them. They'll give you the BFRO report number, the date, 1977, the sighting. Um, let's view it. You click view and it tells you about the sighting that happened near you. I know, right? How cool is that? You want to learn about the sightings that have happened near you? This is kind of a really easy resource to do that. So, um, I, I find it fascinating. I've already looked up my area in West Virginia and I'm a little terrified, not going to lie. There's some weird stuff going on in West Virginia. <laughs> and I did notice there's there's a lot of sightings around West Virginia and kind of not as much in West Virginia. And I think part of the reason for that is uh, a lot of folks up in the hills in West Virginia, it's just part of the fauna. It's like not a big deal. You stay away from them. They'll stay away from you. You just kind of leave each other alone and go about your business. You know what I'm saying? When it's part of the fauna, why are you going to bother reporting it? You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. Like, it does seem pretty sparse. And like surrounding it, you know, there seems to be a lot more sightings. So I, maybe that's a thing. Interesting. I mean, you can even tell just zooming back. There's, there's huge amounts of stuff in the middle of West Virginia. There's like the void where nothing happens. And I promise you, there's something happening there. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to share this with you because I just thought it was an interesting thing. And uh, I like I like telling my people about interesting things from time to time. So, so there you go. Let's go pick on another one. Let's go to... Uh, there's a big cluster by Pittsburgh. Holy cow, there's a big cluster by Pittsburgh. Not even kidding. Wow. Enormous cluster right here. Okay, so if you live in the Wildwood area or the Berkeley Hills area, there's, there's probably something going on up there, I would imagine. <laughs> You can even click on them and, and see, like, how long ago it was. 1971. Okay. 1975. 1971. Well, that's interesting. 1975. Huh. 2006. You know, you can kind of get the idea of when they were there and uh, how many it's fascinating stuff 
fascinating and it's weird and I like sharing weird stuff with my subscribers. You would expect nothing less from the Llama Monster and you know what? I deliver random and weird and sometimes terrifying and this could be either one of those things. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. What do the red ones mean? That can't be good. Red ones... Oh, there's a lot of information on this one. Wood knocks, color, describe your encounter. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you got to check out the site. There's lots of interesting stuff going on. Um, again, just type in a uh, Bigfoot mapping project and you'll find it. It's like totally Googleable, if that's the word. Is Googleable a word? Yeah. Totally is. So that's what I got. Y'all have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think about all this terrifying nonsense on uh, in the comment section below. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think there there there's something strange going on, and um, I think a lot of the strangeness might be something that we don't understand. I I I don't know. So let me know what you think. That's what I got for now, and I am out.